Hello, I'm Captain Iceblock. My hero pool consists of all the heroes named Storm Spirit and Hero Spirit you, guides on Storm, other heroes, lanes, mechanics, and everything in between. I also stream, coach, and analyze your replays. To support the content, you can get one of those services or just buy me a cup of coffee on Patreon. And with all that said, let's go. Storm clouds are gathering! Today, we'll discuss what I believe is the correct way to play Bounty Hunter. To get my point across, I'll start by comparing Bounty to a Ricky, since in the past, they both shared similar playstyles. Now, the way you lane Ricky is by popping in and out of shadows to deal harass damage and secure some last hits. Before the rework, Bounty operated in much the same way, but after rework, players began prioritizing Janada over Shadow Walk. And this is correct, as Bounty players want to utilize the extra damage and gold transfer every time it is off cooldown. But what I've noticed in my games is that many players still swear by the old Ricky and Bounty playstyle. They perform a hit, then walk back a bit and wait for another hit. What I'm going to tell you is that Bounty is a very capable laner on its own. Instead of relying on Janada to deal damage, you are able to deal damage all the time just by laning Bounty as any other carry, such as Ursa or Monkey King. That is, be in your enemy's face as much as possible. While Janada greatly overpowers your attacks, while it's on cooldown, you still have a lot of armor and movement speed, making being in the lane that much easier. With a stout shield and sustained regen, you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe against many carries, and in some cases even force them out. I'm even going to say that getting last hits as bounty is not that important if you can spend your time chipping away at their carry instead. If you establish a decent lane control, you'll have no problem reaching a fast level 6, and from there, every missed last hit in favor of a trade will be paid out by killing weak from laning track targets. Now of course, for this to work, you'll need to have a somewhat strong offlaner with you. But since Bounty can afford to share last hits, there shouldn't be a problem recruiting another core if needed. And even if enemy safe lane got some nasty combination which can kill you over and over again, retreating to the weaker hit and run playstyle will still let Bounty reach level 6 and pick up the momentum during the mid game. So, to summarize, a successful bounty will ferry himself a lot of region and spend most of his lane time trading hits with the enemy heroes. By messing with the opponent's farm, targets are weaker at level 6 for you to pick off with your team. And successful pickoffs lead to track gold gain, leading to items, leading to more pickoffs, leading to snowballing until the enemy throne falls. And this concludes today's topic. I'll leave you with the rest of the match. Good luck! We've got pretty good chemistry! Dyer's middle tower is under attack! On Dyer's top tower. Killing spree. Onage. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Killing spree. Onage. Dyer's structures are fortified. Are 
Double damage empowers me. A dominating performance. You almost had that. Match on my pummel. Behold my series. Mega kill. Hello, this is Gabe Newell. Thanks for playing Dota 2. Double kill. You almost had it. To the frozen waste with you. Structures are fortified. Someone better help Dyer's middle tower. Dyer Snow fortified their structures. A dominating performance. <laughs> you almost had that. Dyer's middle barracks have fallen. Are those cracks in Dyer's top tower? Not much good's happening to Radiant's bottom tower. Killing spree. Radiant's bottom tower has got caught. Yes. 
double kill. They're unstoppable. Impossible kill. You are no more. Fire's middle power just went down. Fire's ancient is under attack. Mega kill. Flicker on the Fire's bottom tower is under attack. Nothing personal. You almost had that. Dyer's bottom tower always did get short shrift. Dyer's bottom barracks are under attack. It looks like Dyer fortified their structures. Dyer's ancient is under attack. Double kill. Guys, you have been screwed. You almost had it. is under attack! I think we're just I about radiant. Fortify their structures. Killing spree. Radiant wins! 